Hello and welcome to the first ever episode of the Youth Squad Legends series with Leighton Orient. For anyone new to the series, let me introduce it to you quick. We take a team like Leighton Orient and ditch all the real players. Then we fill the squad in with generated players. They could be from the Youth Academy, regens from the free agents list, regens from other clubs, with the final goal of lifting the Champions League. The beauty of this series is that right now, recording episode one, I have no idea what is going to happen. I don't know which player is going to be good, which player is going to be bad. So I'm ready for all the twists and turns. Join me in this journey. Now, I'm not going to beat around the bush. There's not that much change between FIFA 21 and FIFA 22. So I'm pulling out all the stops to make the series more engaging for you guys. I think you should watch this VT. This year, Youth Squad Legends is changing. We're ditching the traditional player growth system for something way more dynamic and interactive. Players will not have set potentials but grow mainly through their efforts on the pitch. Every goal, assist, save, tackle, mistake matters. Alongside this, you can get involved by upgrading the players yourself through our Discord server. Agree to the rules, you become a member and earn a base amount of server currency that's sec per day. This rate can be increased if you're active, become a mod, admin, patreon, elite patreon or server booster. In addition, server boosters receive 10,000 sec immediately. You can then use this currency to boost your favourite players in the storefront. There will also be a Twitter poll for player of the episode. That's another place where improvements will be distributed. Scenarios will return to give random upgrades and another level of depth. Patreons will have access to creating players, guaranteed wonder kids, player appearance customization and scouting location. Taking inspiration from bankrupt Bournemouth, viewers will then decide which players make it into the Youth Academy from a selection of obscure scouting reports. It will be the series that I've always wanted to produce, revolving around performance and viewer input. Hey, not bad. Like I said, I've always wanted to make a series like this. It will take work and some features might have to be dropped for time constraints, whatever. But we're going to give it our all to make one memorable series. We're going to do a scenario really shortly, but how can you do a scenario without meeting the squad? Welcome one and all to Youth Squad Legends on FIFA 22. Let's meet the players. Leighton Orient's first squad, starting with number one, Hong Kong. Kong goalkeeper Yuan Tang. Number two, Jamaican right back Courtney Scott. Number three, the English wing back Jude Hunt. Number four, Welsh centre back Scott Cleaves. Number five, English centre back Lewis Proctor. Number six, Greek central midfielder. Filipos Sampras. Number seven, your Brazilian winger Bruno Souza. Number eight, Danish central midfielder Lucas Thompson. Number nine, the Indian forward Amit Panda. Number ten, the Gabonese striker Jean Paul Sabali. Number eleven, the Icelandic right winger Sigurd Dubriem. Number twelve, the Liberian left back Chinedu Hogan. Number thirteen, your Zimbabwean goalkeeper Ziap Yatembo. Number 14, the English left winger, Daniel Waite. Number 15, from Colombia, central midfielder, Gonzalo Avia. All the way from Trinidad and Tobago. Number 16, Curtis Joseph. Number 17, David Kendall, English striker. And to complete the squad, number 18, left winger from the Dominican Republic, Ramon Alvarez. Now please welcome your manager, the one and only... Radu Floca! Scott Cleaves buys Radu Flocker a bottle of wine, welcoming him to Leighton Orient. Radu Flocker doesn't like wine, so it's no surprise that Cleaves was thanked with a very long and aggressive stare down. Even though Radu doesn't like wine, he thinks the thought of the gift is rather sweet and gives extra help to Scott in training. Plus one overall, Scott Cleaves. Now it makes sense why Scott was given the armband automatically. Let's get into the tactics. So last year we had Mikel Okonkwo as manager. He was the master of the press. This time Radu Flocker, a hard-hitting centre-back. He wants all his players to get stuck in there. But he's hardly got any understanding of how to attack 
So build-up plays on balance, chance creation is on balance at the moment. Maybe he gets a better idea through the series. You're looking for aggressive interceptions everywhere. Everyone has to help out in defense. He's allowing his midfielders to do what they want in the center of the pitch. So long as they put their body on the line, all defenders stepping up, getting in the faces. Let's have the sweeper keeper. Get out at crosses as well. Be brave. Everybody's got to be brave in this team. I've not played a single minute of last gen at FIFA 22. We've got the difficulty on ultimate. I think that might be a bit too much. But let's have a laugh. It's our first game. We're going to lose. But let's do it in style. And we seem to be wearing the kit that I've got on. Salford City against Leighton Orient. Hi, everyone. It is an absolutely split. No, Derek Ray. We're not having you on the commentary. I'm doing this job. I got them pre-youth squad legends nerves. Some of these players will be diamonds in the rough. Ready to take us all the way to the Champions League. Kickoff in our first game. Get a nice feel for it. Our two centre-backs actually join the team as central defensive midfielders. But because we didn't have any centre-backs, they've been forced to change the position. Come on, Tang! Played! Now, well, I think the number four, Cleves, got a little touch on that as well. Some experience points going their way. It's Panda. They're going for the long shot. Good effort. Surely the number two is not the best player to head that ball. We've got... Players like Proctor in there at six foot four. He should be meeting the corners. Panda. Doesn't seem like this difficulty is up to much. Might have to sort out some sliders very soon. In this initial game, we'll take every advantage that we can. Nice touch there by Joseph. We've got Salabi. Salabi. The furthest man forward. Salabi's going for it. He's got a bit of speed. We've got a goal. Leighton Orient, one nil up. Questions have to be asked. What have EA been doing? The difficulty definitely needed to be up from last year. Guess you're gonna have to rely on me again to make the game difficult. I'll get a slider video up as soon as possible. Don't you worry, guys. Oh. Anyone trying to defend in the center there? I thought someone would have tried to track. Morris gets the equalizer. Salford find parity very, very quickly. Pandas drop in. Why Pandas long shots? He's got some kind of dipping technique. Go on, Joseph. Onside. Wait. We could have seen a second goal. <laughs> that is a ball. Wow, okay. Finding Asante. Probably Salford's best player off that right-hand side. And uh, our left bike is having all sorts of problems. Going too narrow, but then again, the tactic says that they do like to bunch up in defense. Here's Briem. The target is Panda. We can't even get there. So, Bally, go on. Souza. Oh, the first touch was excellent. Shame about the finish. It's Amit Panda. There's a lot of marking of his strike partner. Amit Panda goes for goal. Oh, my boys are feeling the effects. Look at the speed difference. Looked offside. It's 3 1. We kick off again. The two strikers are running for each other, pushing centre backs out of position they could be really good together alvarez might have an option at the back stick why are the crosses going so long pose yourself off oh, back heel not a great way to finish the match as salford really do put us to the sword that's a beautiful goal it makes it 4-1 and i still feel like this difficulty needs to be upped hey tang got a hand to that full time i already see hope there's energy in there. So probably after each game, we're going to see this experience screen as players develop. Once they fill out the green bar on the right-hand side, they go up one overall. That's the plan, at least. We haven't got the live editor just yet, so things might be slightly delayed at the start. But once that's all up and running, this will work like clockwork, I hope. Down at the bottom, you'll see the recent overall changes. So it should have cleaves down there because of the scenario. The better you play in the match, the quicker the green bar grows. You guys obviously have your inputs through Discord and Twitter votes. And that's how it works. Simple as that. Because we only have two centre bikes. This EFL Cup game midweek. Might have to put Hunt at centre-back. Now, bearing in mind that he started out as a striker, this might be a problem. He's only 5'11 as well. A Villa, isn't he left-footed? I think I can sort something out. Hogan on the right, a Villa on the left. 
This is a mess of a squad. But it's against old friends. AFC Wimbledon. Just try and be as comfortable as possible. That is losing the ball. Well done, Proctor. Ah, oh, yes. It's an injury. Therefore, some experience for Proctor, definitely. Radu Flocker will be applauding from the sidelines. They do very much step up. Hunt has been beaten. Proctor doesn't have the legs. He's on side. <laughs> Tembo! Oh, these goalkeepers are fantastic. They were much needed in the game. Great tackle. Avia looks quite comfortable at left back. Maybe we should just stick him as our permanent left back already. Because he's looking like the real deal. A bit smarter than what Hogan did. Tembo with another fantastic save. Avia clears. Them guys, the absolute standouts at the moment. Oh, we've got it out wide. It's Alvarez. No, no, no. Didn't catch it properly. Radu Floca. Stepping up. We're trying to slide in. We get Avia, another standing tackle. One of the players up front is stinking the place out. Kendall, I believe, the number 17. Not done anything right in this first half. But I've got to respect what's happening in this defence. Radu Flocker's effect is already being felt. Mm, I don't know if I'm going to catch this guy up. Sliding in. Oh, Tembo did get fingertips to it. I think we've got our first loser. Although, that being said, looking at his wheel, maybe... We swap Hogan and Kendall around. Checking here. Yeah, finishing on Hogan, 46. I didn't really know where to put him. I needed a wing back. Give me a break. This is going to be a chip. Oh, yes. We're conceding our first chip of the year. Ah. The substitutions came a bit too late. Proctor, heavily breathing, comes off. Knocking about the ball. Like they own it. They probably do own it. Oh, keeper's coming out again. Oh, sweeper key. Oh, that's a shame. I rate it. What a save that was from the initial shot. I don't think the striker was expecting sweeper keeper action. Right on the edge of his box. Back to the keeper. Tembo. Oh, I passed it. <laughs> I got a bit too confident on the passing because we've been playing it around quite well, even though, of course, we've been... 3-0 down. Not the finest moment for Tembo, but overall he's been magnificent, and that's not going to ruin my judgment, because it's mostly my mistake. Definitely still needs to be tougher. What? Bro, where's the goalkeeper going? Tembo! Get on your front post, man! Okay, now that one was your mistake. Welcome to the rough world of Youth Squad Legends episode 1. To be honest, in comparison to what I've seen with the start of the Wimbledon series, with the start of the Harrogate Town series, so far it's not been too bad. Most of these training drills I've already aced. Spent so long last night on the finer details to make sure that recording, you know, went as smoothly as possible. This is about as good as we can get. Hunt wasn't bad at centre bike, so we'll throw him there again. Leighton Orient against Exeter City. So Bali. Oh, it's not bad. It really is not bad. Radu Flocker looking up into the heavens. Early chances not coming to much. And then oh, they can just switch it on like that with the speed and the power. Brown's got the opening goal. Ball up. He's on side. <laughs> oh, it's a ding. He's ding the goalkeeper. Yeah, this number 10. This number 10 can play football. Sabali! Panda gives him a warm embrace. Might be doing a little bit too much there on the ground. Keep it PG. Children are watching, gentlemen. That's a ball by Souza. Look at that exquisite dink. Oh, Sabali! Oh, why is he so quick? Jesus. There's no way on earth. Tang's gonna get to that ball. Brown is having a field day against our defense. What can we do? One Sabali. Yes! Oh! Oh! It's not a total disaster at half time. Proctor will make way for some more energy at the back. Via's looking tired, so Hogan has to step in. Let's just throw Kendall into the deep end. He's got a plus one at left back. Charge into the box. There it is. That's a better ball. People will be coming out. Tang quick. Off his line. Quick nod of appreciation because I'm smelling the sweeper keeper roll. Go on, Tang! Panda's a bit isolated here. 
Might have to do some magic. Oh, yes. Panda! Well played, son. Gets the ball back after a really strong defensive header. Oh, slide in! Mate, I'll give you some experience for that. Just need the one goal for a glorious point. Panda, yes. Wide, wide, wide! We got Briem! Ball! Lofted into the back post! Yes! Gets in there! Oh! It is Hogan, isn't it? Well, that has just settled it. He's not staying left back. Hold this. We've got four minutes plus. Second half, Tang has been immense, keeping the score down. Got lucky on that goal as well. Hogan! <laughs> Yay! We celebrate that draw more than we celebrate some wins. <laughs> We've got loads of production work left to do for Youth Squad Legends to try and make everything work smoothly. So we're going to stop episode one here. It's just an introduction episode to the series. Uh, episode two, we're playing against Radu Focus former team and our last team in Youth Squad Legends, Harrogate Town. That was fun. If you've enjoyed it, give the video a like. If you're new around here, consider subscribing and press the bell icon for mobile notifications so you don't miss an upload. That's important for the channel. Down in the comments section, post who is your favorite player at this really early stage. And the popular one might get a slight experience boost. Be sure to check out our Create a Club Adventures. Playing that on next gen. So we got some next gen footage ready to go if you want to watch it. Love these people on the right hand side supporting me on Patreon. If you do pledge on Patreon, then we got a whole load of rewards that link in to this series. Adding players, wonder kids, customizing some of the players that we've got in our squad and telling me which countries to scout. We'll have a scouting report in episode two to try and bolster our defensive line. So we're searching for center backs. This has been Cutsy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.